It's a case Metro Police have been trying to solve for the past four decades. Earlier this week, we told you about a young woman whose body was found in 1979, finally identified. Fox 5's Victoria Saha tells us how that was possible through extensive DNA testing. For 44 years, this woman was known as Sahara Sue Doe, a name connected to where her body was found. Metro Police say in August of 1979, a man walking along Sahara Avenue and Las Vegas Boulevard found a body in the dirt. After realizing she was murdered, it was a never-ending task to find out who this woman was. Most cases were getting consumed without an answer. And so people were losing their chance to ever get justice, to ever get their identity back. Metro Police contacting Othram Labs for help, a lab specifically focusing on cold cases. This case falling into Dr. Kristen Middleman's hands, using DNA and other forensics to help crack the four decade old mystery. What you need to be able to see is a sixth cousin and a fifth cousin and a, and a fourth cousin and another sixth cousin. And that will allow you to find the most recent common ancestor, which is what our genealogy team does here and then build down that family tree until you get to a specific generation. Though they were getting closer, she says the DNA was difficult to work with. What was difficult about it was the contamination from the way that the, the body was, was left um, and all the non-human DNA component that was there, that had to be filtered out. Filtering out to find out Sahara Sudo was in fact 19-year-old Gwen Marie Story. Metro Police reaching out to family who confirmed Story had left Cincinnati, Ohio with two male friends to head to California. Those two friends came back to Ohio without her and said she was left in Las Vegas with family. Story was never heard from again. When we bring answers, they're not good answers. They usually mean that the person is deceased and murdered somehow. But answers are necessary, and solving these cases come at a hefty price of $7,500. It's a lot of emotions at once. Lydia Ansel and her husband Justin Wu help fund many cold cases with Othram Labs with their nonprofit Vegas Justice League. You just start thinking of all the things of what the family must be feeling of finally getting some answers. There's never truly any closure, but at least you know that they have some kind of answer and hopefully peace from that. Giving many who passed on their identity back. Victoria Saha, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.